But now in Luke 18, it's a certain ruler questioning Jesus, saying, Good teacher, by doing what shall I inherit everlasting life? Verse 18, Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? Nobody is good except one, God. And here again, we get confirmation of exactly what Jesus says in John 14. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Right? They're only doing the Father's will. He says that over and over and over again. The reason why Jesus and the other sons of God who represent their Father, as we've talked about and discussed in numerous videos and Old Testament accounts, is because they know that God is the one who already does the right things the right way. So if you try to do something of your own originality and it's not the way God does it, it's not going to be right. That's why the other sons of God are wrong. And why everything they're doing is so terrible and doesn't lead to the results that would have followed if they had followed their father. And so Jesus realized that. He's like, well, okay, you may see me as good, but it's not me. It's the same thing he tells everybody in all those accounts in John and John 14. It's not me. Why are you calling me this? I'm doing what I learned. I'm doing what I heard. I'm doing everything the Father does because the Father, the one God of Christians, 1 Corinthians 8, 6, explicit, is the one who does everything right. That's why he's God. So when you try to do something your own way of your own originality, like Satan, you're basically saying you know a better way than God. And yet, how could that be? So Jesus says, there's nobody good except one, God. 